G'day, Brian John talking, uh, just to bring you up to date from video two and three. You saw for the month we, we did about um, $7,000. The trade started the month at uh, 10000 This was the open count. And this is demo only. And the equity is 17000 And we've closed all trades out and made our account profit of 7000 for the, for the month. Just a demo on. So we're using this account to show you part three on some of the things I use and discuss slowly with you. In selecting trades to make the broker spread trades, which you saw in in live the other day on uh, Doji's forum. I did about ten trades live for you, and we made a, a nice fat, nice profit. But once again, this is trading in the dangerous zone. I want you to look at the buy volume and the sell volume, because we're going to discuss that being a very low off peak period. Volumes are dropping. I like to trade with the basket volumes a lot higher. These are very low volumes for the basket, so it's not a time to trade. Just think about it. The other thing to notice in the baskets is the basket in the four hour was notice how the trend is switching in this between buys and sells in this very volatile time. And then with low volume, one never knows which way the market's going to go. It's going to go up and down. The overall market is looking like uh, it should start retracing down. The H2 is uh, still not quite there. And we'll look at the hedge. And the hedge is starting to do a little kickback on the buy. So this is a uh, and notice the volumes again are very low so this is what i call low volume trading pretty well sideways markets and you can trade them but you have to trade a different way the best way to trade is in a high volume market in my opinion uh, in a higher volume market we're going to look now at a prospect you notice the um, euro in the currency strength meter is high the low. So it means the euro is still in a buy mode. These are the trades we look at. And the next highest is the CHF. And that is in a buy mode. So we'll just look at those two trades and we'll find them and um, just look. So we're going to just quickly look at some of the things I would consider. If this was a buy mode, it is above the opening price. But obviously, if that was trading buy, you want to buy down a little bit with room to move. The trade is stuck in a reward risk between 214 pips and 239. It's not a great trade by anybody's stretch of the imagination. Look at the buy, and, and, and it's still got buy volume there and sell volume. You might squeeze a few pips to the long side. But uh, remember, when we came, uh, it, the, the basket is showing right now that there could be in the smaller short frame uh, a long on here. One could trade the long, but as I said, the reward risk is not one that I would normally look at. Uh, you're just looking at trades to make a trade, and uh, why would you do that? Some people say I want to make a few pips. Pips to the open at 61. So if we went down a little bit, we'd probably have more room on a long. So the other trade we looked at was a CHF, JPY, and a CHF US dollar. It's only 5.2. The New Zealand is higher at this stage against the US dollar. So the New Zealand dollar has got a, a little way to go. And really stretching the point, CHF, US dollar. The, it's not time to be trading. I like to see clear indications where if the uh, you're shorting, you would look at the US dollar being higher. 
and the other currencies down. So this is just some of the quick basic things we're looking at. Uh, as I mentioned here, you have the MAC, the Stolastic, they're all showing plus at the moment. You have not got much room to the top of the range. You can only squeeze a few, few trades out there. And you're really in this time frame playing just for fun. The, I would not normally trade that. Your reward risk is not a big enough difference. It would be better if this was down here somewhere and you were trading then on the long that way from the bottom. So looking at now, there is nothing really going on. It's a flat dead market. When it's a flat dead market, just sit back, relax and do nothing. We can go broke easily by trading. Always look at high reward risk currencies. Look at the distance between them. You're really sitting at cross purposes trying to trade with nowhere to go in a flat sideways market. Squeeze one or two pips if you're lucky. Very difficult trading. I wouldn't recommend it. So, once again, the uh, CHF is higher, the JPY is a trade. It's got a bigger potential to go down. It will could go down to the uh, this price. So, for a longer term stop, you can look at that. But first of all, we go back to the old adage, and we will want this to start to go red again in shorting, because um, you are going to do a Problem short here with the CHF JPY. I think that was right. I just have to recheck it. US dollar CHF. Uh, where is the CH? Dollars. Oh, uh, we'll have a look at it. Uh, CAD. Is that CAD? No, we're not looking at CAD JPY. I think they're all reaching the tops of their ranges, even the dollar. So one can flip through the chart, you can use, sorry for the delay, one can chip, uh, simply go through the charts, look at, at the longer term buys and sells. Notice how that's starting, that the candle starting to switch because the two hour frame is still in a buy. Hedge is a similar one. The Australian dollar is up at the top of the range. Some people are saying, well, let's try a, a long. Might be dangerous. US dollar JPY. Uh -huh. uh, US dollar uh, and JPY are about even ball positions of strength. It's not recommended. Great British pound JPY. Great British pound JPY. Really, you're trying to get in the market. So at the market at the present time is fluctuating between the CHF and the euro and the US dollar and JPY trades. Okay, that's about all for now. Just giving you an idea how I look at it. I always look at your tr overall trend on the baskets and the hedge. I look at the two hour basket and the four hour in conjunction and notice it's just gone long again it's a very tough market to to move into unless you have a a really uh conjunct really a weighted decision that they're all pretty well the same going trending in the right before you start looking in making trades here we were looking at making a long trade it's pretty well up at the market Although the day the trend is up, it's still up, I would be hanging fire because look at these uh, reaching up at the tops of the range and just fluctuating, bouncing on and off. You need a fractional breakout of the uh, top of the range to suggest that the market's breaking out of its current highs. Okay, bye for now. God bless from Brian. I hope to be doing this live for you in in time of trading when the trading time and the volumes are a lot higher and we can do once again print money 
and have fun. Okay, bye for now. God bless.